All right. Hey, it is season four, everybody. Four. Oh, yeah. Season four. Season four. Four. It's an R at the end. Season four of Thriving Thursday. <laughs> my name is Stephen Hayes. This is my wife. Lauren. And we are S and L. And you're watching Thriving, Thriving Thursday. Thursday. And a lot of jobs will have kind of a code of code of ethics conduct yes, stuff. Yes, absolutely. But I was gonna say. I think best case scenario is what you said, like with respect and stuff, but think about it if it was sexual harassment. I'm not gonna, I would never tell someone, you have to be respectful and say, no, I don't like your advances. You could just, I think you could yell no. No. <laughs> so I don't know. I think the best case scenario, you would be able to just state it firmly and calmly, but, but also it's sometimes it's not, mm, I don't feel like it should sometimes be on a person that is in the right to have to, you know, be policed by the tone police or something like that. When you're, when someone's telling you to do something like in that, in a case of it being like, um, like wrong or legal, like having to be like timid about it. But I, I wasn't timid though. <laughs> we both know me. I no, wasn't timid. I I, I'm just saying, like you know, for me, I <laughs> definitely could see that have you know more of a problem in the past of being like being able to be firm and um, with boundaries. But even so, even sometimes non legal stuff. Sometimes like when a boss is um, putting too much on you, right? Yeah, and like that too. and humanly humanly possible, not just like you know giving. And sometimes you know it, it happens, but if it tends to be like you're the person they're giving all the things to, and you literally cannot do anymore, even though they may want you to, you have no more time, no more. There's nothing. Yeah, we left. all have 24 hours in a day. <laughs> there is there. So you, you can't do 25 hours worth of work in 24 hours. And there's that only hours. it can be tricky, but I think there's a way um, to try to do that. And I've learned, I think, getting older, learned a little bit better how to do that. Um, and so, because it's kind of hard to be like, no to your boss, don't give me more work. But you could say, um, kind of like, oh, I have this going on and this going on. I don't have time to do this and this. What one would you like me to make me a priority? So it's kind yeah, of like, like um, it's setting a boundary. <laughs> Of like, hey, I cannot get all this done. I know that's what you want me to do, but it's just not possible. And, you know, it's that's just like in an actual case of that. Not just because you don't want to do work, but if you literally have, you know, too much to do, you're only human and you need to be able to take care of yourself. Otherwise, you'll burn out. So That's exactly it. That's exactly it. So. Um, I mean, so because you what you're saying, I mean, just kind of summarize it. Um, when we're talking about boundaries, uh, you want to make sure that you're clear what your boundaries are. And that takes yes. some self-reflection. You know, look yourself in the mirror or whatever you have. Um, that you want to look at your phone, whatever. Sometimes learning. Yeah. Sometimes you, you learn by people encroaching on your boundaries that you need to set a boundary. Encroaching on your oh. boundaries, yeah. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> I'm with you. Encroaching. <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean. So sometimes you don't even know that's a boundary that needs to be put up till you've been through something and then you realize, hey, I need to set this boundary. Yeah. Um, so be clear. Yeah, I was like, so make sure that you're, you're clear when you're setting your boundaries. And when I'm talking about be clear, know what you want, know what you need um, in order for nope. you to feel safe and protected. And know what you won't do. Yeah, and that was, <laughs> and that, that was the other part of it. Yeah. yeah, and know your limits. What, you know, what is your no, your absolute no? Um, if it's, if you're, uh, if you're single and you're out there dating, you know, uh, know what your no is, 
hey, you know, I'm not kissing on the first date. That is my no. That's a hard no. Yeah, that, that is, that is a know. hard no. That is a non-negotiable no. I'm not kissing on the first date. Don't expect a kiss. If you're expecting a kiss, it ain't going to happen. Well, I, don't think you're going to try and get one. Just, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that is a boundary. I don't boundary. think you need to be that intense. And well, I mean, you could if you want to, but... You might have to. Just saying. You're just going to sit on a date and then just well, come no, on I'm out. Not gonna, I'm not saying you got to do it like that. Look, now they're going to be out there wondering why they can't, you know, keep a, a date, you know, because... They listen to us. Tell them, no, not that way. I'm, I'm saying that you have to know it for yourself. So, the, you know, clearly identifying yeah. your boundary is for you to know the reason why. Well, I don't want to kiss on the first date because I want to get to know the person first. And I don't know where they mouth been, <laughs> but I, I want to get to know the person first. That's what I'm going to stick Steven, with. Even, oh my I'm, gosh. I want to get to know the person first, right? So that's, that's what we're going to go wow. for. So that, that was a boundary and you have a clear understanding as to why you said it. That's what I was saying for, you know, just... So you got to know you first. And then once you know what your boundaries are and why you have your boundaries, then at that point, I mean, we talked about this. You want to make sure that when someone comes to uh, when someone violates a boundary, you want to make them aware. You don't need to give them a long, you know, paragraph, you know, I mean, essay I think type. if they're tiptoeing near the boundary, you can say something. You don't have to wait yeah. until they cross the boundary. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> that, that's part <laughs> of knowing, knowing yourself and, and yeah. what you're. And knowing what your, you know, yes. your ground zero is, hey, at this point, I need to say something. Yeah. You know, someone's saying, hey, you look very nice today. Thank you. Right. And I was like, hey, you look sexy in them shorts. I'm like, look, look, that's not okay. That was inappropriate. If you say I look nice, I can say thank you and I'm okay with that. But if you go that far and say I look sexy, that's just not appropriate. Who's saying you look sexy? <laughs> Nobody said that I look sexy in my shorts. I'm using an example for everybody out there oh to understand. God. I cannot make examples. <laughs> Come on now. I'm trying to make sure they understand. Well, you y'all not- get what I'm saying. Not if you understand. I can't see you <laughs> nodding. Okay. There was someone one time that said your legs are sexy. I remember that. I don't remember. The- oh, my that. gosh. There sure was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That That's was hilarious. An- oh, my. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dreadfully scary. <laughs> see, boundaries. Healthy Boundaries, because you can have boundaries, but they may not be healthy. You need some healthy boundaries that keep you safe. It's just funny physical, now. physical boundaries. Mm-hmm. Um, we we kind of hinted at that with like some people or don't like, like that. to be touched, just not even not even in a sexual manner, yeah. but just like touching. And usually, I'm like, one of them, especially <laughs> in public. Like I don't like people walking up and like patting me on the back and stuff and rubbing on my shoulders like we're in a massage parlor. I don't know why my voice just changed like that, <laughs> <laughs> but it did. <laughs> a massage parlor? <laughs> I look, I, okay. I just don't I don't like all that okay. touch touch grab it, grab it. Don't do it to me. <laughs> so if we're out if you're out in public and you see me and you walk touch, up to touch, me. Touch, 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 touch. You're my wife. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> see? Healthy boundary. <laughs> if we're out in public yeah. and you see me, a professional handshake is more than enough. You and if I people. feel comfortable, I might say, Is it okay if I hug like it's okay to ask first. I do that. I mean you would hug your friends. Were you just talking about like work situations or? I was talking about in public, period. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a walk up to me thinking you're just going to hug me what and start patting me on my back and rub the, my shoulders. Then you do the stuff. weird church hug thing. They're like, mm, like the, or the, remember the one where you slide yeah, down? Yeah. W- okay, look, <laughs> what she's talking about Wait, let's is. Show, let's show what you, when they, what when you they, should do. When they Here. try to pull you into a hug and I ain't trying to hug nobody, <laughs> I have to do the elbow hug. You know, they're trying to pull you in for that half hug. It's like, yeah. oh, no, they're trying to pull you for a full hug and I turn into a half hug with the elbow elbow stiff arm so it looks it looks something <laughs> something like this they go in you know they, they try to come i'm going for a handshake and they try to come in for the hug i'm like oh hey yeah <laughs> see i gave a little space by putting the elbow up that's the stiff arm part Hilarious. of my elbow he really does and this, i go though. for the handshake really i might even pat him on the shoulder if they're still trying to reach for that oh hug and they gosh. ain't getting the hand i'm like hey yeah that's as far as you're getting Hilarious. boundary boundary set boundary held my dad is like that too yeah even my sister well, there's some violators of boundaries, okay? Some people just don't understand um, spatial awareness. Some people don't understand personal space. And that's a cultural thing, by the yeah. way, also. And okay. up in some countries, like I've been to them, like men, men will kiss each other on the cheek. That's a, like a greeting and also like a farewell. That's yeah, respectful. That's, that's the right thing to do. Uh, kiss on the hand in some countries. Um, in my family... Yeah, they kiss. They, yeah, kiss on the cheek. Yeah, um, so I mean, it's a cultural thing. So don't get, don't get, don't get it wrong. The I'm not ta- saying the that, Italian side. Yeah, that. I'm not saying that yeah. um, that those things are bad. I'm saying that it's it's based on you. That's mm-hmm. why I started with number one. Clearly, identify what your boundaries are because you got to know yourself first and what you're okay with. Know thyself. 
Yeah. Is it a commandment? And then I don't know if it's a commandment. That's like it's Destiny's Child. <laughs> That's what CD knows myself. <laughs> But anyways, oh my god! Um, okay. So I mean, it's, yeah. It's, so it's important to have those healthy boundaries, and when it comes to physical touch, you, know, you want to keep yourself safe, you know, and, and that's yeah. that's key, you know, sexual harassment or assault in, in a workplace, at school, anywhere. Um, really, you want to make sure you're able yeah. to keep yourself safe. So having those those healthy boundaries will will help prevent um, things like that from going that far, or it can help alarm you when things are getting that far. So I, yeah. I won't say it's a, a, it's a 100% prevention. It's not, but it can alarm you to know that, okay, look, this person's con- consistently violating yeah. the boundaries that I'm setting when I'm saying, yeah. I don't like you that close to me, or I don't like you when you touch me yeah. or when you say certain things to me, you know, yeah. they're not listening to my boundaries. Well. So now I need to one, I need to be um, annotating this stuff, be writing it down or typing it in something, sending it to the supervisor if you're at work. HR or yeah. you know, whoever. Exactly. You need to start reporting <laughs> that stuff and yeah. re- recording it and reporting it. Recording it so that we have a record to show who, what, when, where, why, and, and, and all that mm-hmm. good information. Um, and then you also want to make sure that you, report, you start reporting that when they're violating your boundary because it could become violent. It could become dangerous and you or don't want it to be, get that far. What is it called? Re- not... I was going to say reparations. That's not the right word. They, Retaliate, retaliation. Oh, retaliation. Yeah. <laughs> if it, it is, if it's like a supervisor situation, I mean, it could even be a, um, a subordinate, um, someone that you're a supervisor of that's that's hitting on you. Coming on to you. Yeah, and and they could try to make it seem like it's you since yeah. you're the supervisor. Yeah, you, you. It can definitely be something that can keep you safe as well if you start, you know, recording it and reporting it. Tell some if you tell someone. Yeah. About that incident, or in, in most cases, at a workplace or even some in the in, in school setting, like human resources, you can report to them. Um, admin, uh, admin, they usually have an administrator. Some workplaces Sometimes even have, have like a, a sexual harassment or, like ER, and, uh, or, like, a, or a advocate or like an equal opportunity advocate um, or advisor or something like that that you can yeah. go and seek out and get information from. And, and they have some limits. Sometimes they can even keep some of that information uh, confidential if you're worried about the word getting around they might the, just the tell company. They everyone in the company. Yeah. So you can, you can like some it. of those folks, you can ask them up front, but usually they'll let you know that uh, how much of the information is considered confidential, too. But, I mean, that is hard because yeah. I've had to do that before, and that was hard. Um, yeah. But I think the, you know, it's important, though, because also, although it's not your job to you know take on the ways of the world a lot of times when people are boundary crossing on you they probably did it to someone else or they will do it to someone else because you know it's not been um it's not been challenged so they continue to do it in most cases i feel like yeah um, and i'm gonna get no. something else oh i'm gonna say and something else i'm gonna say about boundaries is once you've established your boundary, now you have to do the diligent job of, uh, what would be the word I'd use here? I don't know if I'd say protect the boundary, patrol the boundary, what, what, what word we use? What we use for the Texas border to Mexico? Cause you know, that, that's a big thing, the wall and the boundaries. Oh that, my that's, gosh, no. <laughs> anyways, um, but once you have established a boundary, now, now the, the I guess protect is the right word. Yeah, the, the now what you have to do is you have to constantly go back and protect that boundary. Reinforce. The reinforce. Boundary. That's the word yeah. I was looking for. Thank you. You have to constantly reinforce the boundary because I, people are are going to cross it intentionally and sometimes unintentionally. Yeah, I. They're going to cross the boundaries intentionally. Kind of sometimes can happen. Like um, as far as in the counseling world, um, it could be something that's not even meant to be bad you might oh this client is crying so you want to hug them but you don't ask to hug them and you just hug them that could cross a boundary because they might be someone whose boundaries have already been violated if they are like um, a victim or something of you know abuse or some sort so like touching you know can definitely trigger them or whatever so just have to be like mindful of that and even if you're not in a counseling se- um, setting anyways it could be the same thing for just someone you don't know people's stories you don't know um, you know that could be really hard for someone and tr- you know trigger them so I think we covered work yeah